Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we talk about what's obviously most critically, crucially important. Today on This Is Important. If you guys cybered right now, I think that would be kind of harmless. Like if I were to cyber with any of you guys, it would be just like, you know. That kid threw a man down the stairs and killed him. Fuck that kid. (laughs) Soft dick BJs with the nuts involved. Is that a thing? And I don't know, workaholics? God damn it, Kyle! Strap in. Wow. Hey, that was the best sleep yet. You got to get it all out before the big pod. Is this how we're starting the pod? Yeah. I got a little something in my throat. And we're back. You know those weird ASMR people that are gonna like hate our podcast. Oh, it's too much. Because I feel like I feel like we're always gargling on something, always slurping something down, always munchy munchy. No, but see, that's the thing that the that's the thing that the ASMR people love. We're giving them exactly what they want. They're like, <laughs> oh shit. Is there like a is there like a gross AMSR where people go just to hear like? disgusting noise like <clears throat> oh like human disgusting noises <laughs> yeah i i don't know that there is for sure but there's everything so yeah. whatever question is there a there's <laughs> there is it's out there and the internet has pulled so, back the curtain it exists someone's making millions so true that's what's so cool about like society today is even like even like 10 years ago it wasn't like this is now you can your weird thing could be like i just love the the smell of my uh, of a, of a person's like inner ear hole right yeah. and right. then there's also like a hundred thousand other weirdos out there that are like yeah I also and if you have a vi- if your video you just video every day of you like going up and asking to sm- sniff people's ear holes and you videotape it and put it online uh, you're you're a hundred millionaire <laughs> yeah <laughs> wait. you got a house in Malibu you're the richest yep. man alive and there's also a, a a convention for it where you can all gather and that's the big win. Ear, ear con. Ear hole con. That's when you can actually do the smelling. That's when people are really getting in on that little fetish right there. Right. Get your booth. I want to smell it. Can I say that my that one thing that I hate that I keep that in the podcast world is very uh, prevalent is when people say, uh, uh, got some, hey, got some magic for your ear holes. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. They're get, people say ear holes all the time. Like okay. ear holes. I think that's why I, I had ear hole on the on the brain there. You've been podcasting out? Yeah, I mean Yeah, I've been, I've been listening to some casts. I mean that's what they are. They are ear holes. I just listened to us. That's it. Oh yeah. see, you gotta study. You gotta study. Yeah, you gotta study the greats. You must study That's why the greats. that's why Durs listens to us. <laughs> we we need to Get we em. need to come up with some kind of uh, murder we can solve or something. We need to become a We have to. Yeah, there's a weird murder <laughs> mystery on our on our podcast. Yeah, do any of you guys know anybody who was murdered that is unsolved? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Uh, I murdered that case of beer this weekend, you know. Okay. Oh, that's right. Happy birthday. Yeah, it was my barf day this weekend. Oh, my God. Uh, I posted about it. Got no heart. Thank you. Got no comment. How old are you telling? Hey, Adam, how old are you telling people in Hollywood you are? I'm, I'm, I went up in age. I'm 47. <laughs> you're, you're yeah, I, went, I went older. Yeah. A lot of people say I'm younger. I'm younger. I'm younger. That way. I'm actually, thir- I actually just turned 37, but I'm telling people 47. That way people are like, damn, he looks really good. But if they don't say that, you're fucked. And- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are, aren't you? Yeah, that seems right. And you'll get your cool, your cool King King of Queens show that is going to be so good. Uh, Adam's right. going to be the best ca- sitcom TV dad. I actually am like kind of excited for like 10 years from now, if there are sitcoms in 10 years from now, right. to like go and do, do like a classic sitcom uh, where I just basically do an impression of my dad. Mm-hmm. Yes. Where I'm just like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where's the rump roast? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Who's hungry? I was about to cook. <laughs> yeah. That's your catchphrase? Who's hungry? Yeah, who's hungry? Yeah, <laughs> like baby. That. Nice. That's there's ten seasons there. Yeah, there's ten seasons in there. 
this could be my new wait what's the tim allen show last man standing r.i.p well that's what i was thinking like yeah you're the urkel you're the weird neighbor that shows up and goes did i do weed <laughs> adam i just want to direct the pilot bro that's it yeah hey you're in no, basically then i'm fucking out though i'm doing the pilot then i'm out well you guys are my only friends so <laughs> you guys uh will <laughs> this is the whole cast right here how about how about kyle uh i'll do what the up? pilot to uh get all the monies uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I'm leaving you. Yeah, yeah that's Aww. that's his that's new sad. thing. He thinks it's like this new <laughs> new idea. But yeah, that's the goal for everything, Kyle. You do one and then collect checks. Yeah, no, I was saying that to be mean to Adam, but I would like for us all to just work together <laughs> and have a great worker relationship together and have a spin-off other TV show that basically workaholics. But, uh, you know, isn't. And we're old. Let me be the tall Brad Garrett guy. Oh, just... man, you would crush. Yeah, you'll be, you'll be the, uh, the, the next door neighbor best friend mm -hmm. who my, my wife wants me to be the best friend with. And then Blake is my old school mm -hmm. best friend that my wife doesn't want around and thinks is right. a bad influence. Yep. And then you guys are both always uh, vying for... Uh, to see who's, uh, you know, going to barbecue with me and shit. It writes itself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. That's great. And it rolls off the tongue. And it, it, <laughs> it, you, you, you really buy the pitch in the room. It's, yeah. It's an, it's I can rolled. already see the blocking. It's, it's fantastic. <laughs> you in the middle and them on either side of you, you know, it's going to be great. Nice. Yeah, baby. I mean, if we had our own barbecue sauce we could sell, like, I mean, you know. Oh, oh. I'm back in. I'll do a couple more apps. Multi-platinum. No, no, fuck See, you. You said you were filming the what? pilot and you were out. Yeah. Yeah, but that's because I got to come in and be the, the other actor. Okay. Right, Adam? Oh, and then you want to come up and... Just do a little recipe notes. Well, you're you just play Carl the drug dealer. You're the exact same character from Workaholics. <laughs> oh, so it's, it's in Rancho Cucamonga. It's sure. in universe, yeah. but we play different characters. But Carl is yeah, we're different characters. Oh, I like that. Whoa, dude, that's awesome. That's some fucking yeah. uh, what's his name, Josh Brolin shit. How weird would it be if we did I'll circle back to that? If we did Workaholics, <laughs> but fifteen years later. And uh, it's now a true sitcom, um, and we play the the same characters. I, I I'd tune in. I'm in. I think it would be great. Have they ever yeah. done that? that? Have they people? ever done that? Hollywood, big Hollywood. Uh, yeah, Fuller House. Didn't they just do that with Fuller House and the Connors? It's kind of in in fashion. Kyle, you dumb fuck. I'm <laughs> what? saying what am I missing? a totally dead. We're not in the same house. They're going back to the same locales. We don't live there no more. This oh well, uh, I didn't know that. We have different lives. I got a wife. I got two. One cute. One. We didn't even write that part yet. How was how was I supposed to know that? <laughs> I got a wife. I got two. <laughs> I got a wife. I got two. Well, one kid's really cute. Oh, I thought you'd switched. One. I want just a fucking dumb, okay. ugly brick of a kid. Do you play That's that kid cool. too, like uh, Mar <laughs> Martin Lawrence style? Yeah, we little man my face onto one of them. He's like, <laughs> I love you. So, are we going from single cam to multi cam as well? And you're not playing Ooh. the same characters. No, Kyle, keep up, buddy. No, we're playing the same <laughs> characters. It's just a different format. It's a different format, Kyle. Keep if you're gonna direct the pilot, <laughs> you gotta be engaged. Hold on. No, wait, what well, this is why I'm directing it because we're talking about a couple different things here. Are you talking about playing Blake, Adam, and Durs? Or are you talking about oh playing God. Adam the married guy? Well, you know what? Well, we are. What are guess you talking what? About? Adam DeMamp got married. Okay. I, tr I I tricked one. I tricked one into marrying <laughs> Adam DeMamp. Okay, so it's Adam DeMamp, same character. Okay. Yes. He got demarried. Very good, yes. He got demarried. And Durs is the next door neighbor, but it's Durs. Kyle, you're off the project. <laughs> you're off the project. <laughs> I'm doing a pilot and then I'm no, out. Here. This has to be solid. No, no, no. We're, it's claymation now. We're avoiding you at all costs. <laughs> Here's the thing. If I'm going to be, well, you know, if I'm going to be involved, it has to be solid. So we have to have these discussions. Yeah, you're not, okay. You're not. It's, it's, yeah. not, it's not oh, solid. Soft. And yeah. you're off the project. It's going to be soft. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be soft. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's going to be liquidy and slippery. <laughs> we decided this is a liquid poo of an idea. Okay. It's right, going to yeah. slip right through our uh, fingers. I like okay. It. Much I'm like fine. poo does. Adam, <laughs> stop. <laughs> Adam, stop. Uh, we don't need more. <laughs> yeah. But you know what I mean, right? The, the poo slip. 
<laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> Much like Pooh does. Huh. But I do think it would be very cool to come back and uh, revisit that idea with... That's a cool uh, outside perspective I appreciate. Please wait outside. Did you guys ever have any experience doing a onset multicam? I... I oh, did yeah? that. No. I did that pilot. Quit acting like you don't know, dude. We're the only guys each other talks to. We yep. know that th- that you're the big star of Multicam. Oh, well. We get it. It's Mr. a I'm just, flex on us, dude. I'm just saying it's a What did you do? It's a mind fuck. I did that that pilot. What was it called? It was called like Like Fam or Fam or some shit. It was mm-hmm. it, it, it was hard to wrap my head around what the fuck was happening. It's like oh, acting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, acting was happening, so it was hard for you. Get them. <laughs> Yeah, but it's like, <laughs> no, you got <laughs> and it's, action. It's hella weird. I wish I had the soundboard so I could give myself a yeah, baby. Damn, yeah, where the uh, my shit's unplugged right now. Um, dude, soundboardless. Are you out of your mind? You have one job. We're fucking soundboardless. They have to give me the the go ahead before I can soundboard the shit. Uh, we started recording a little bit too early today, I guess. Yeah, you guys are all so uh, excited yeah. to get started and chit chat. Or Blake wasn't ready. I, I wasn't was. ready. We have a certain time that we start every week. What's new? I'm always ready, baby. Come all on. Right. Okay. Well, tell Looks us like about we- fam and. Uh. Well, it was just—it's a totally <laughs> different process because you treat it like a like a live. A live show, but mm-hmm. you're still re- right. retaking takes and shit. It's just yeah. such a weird way to do television, in my yeah. opinion. And so it's like it's like doing stand up, but then the after the, they already know the joke. Exactly. So you've already done the joke, and then you have to run it back, and yeah. the audience has to be like, ah, not as funny. We just heard that shit. Yes. Yeah, but yeah. that's where you get the audience to engage in their theatrics like yeah. when we would do house party you ask them no you don't because that's that's when the audience leans into it you got to uh-huh. do the thing where you talk to them you say all right guys pretend like this is the first time you've heard this joke and you think it's the funniest thing ever and, and then you like, get a better reaction on oh, camera <laughs> yeah. just, i would come out for the house party show that kyle and i did i would come out when we needed to redo takes and i'm and i would just like scream at the audience like i need some energy yeah 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 and turns out they are excited they're excited to be on camera you know they're excited to it just becomes the funniest thing they've ever heard yeah it, it, but then you're absolutely living a lie. it's all the fuck <laughs> what no. uh one more time blame <laughs> sorry the yeah. fuck <laughs> sorry man i got the board work oh, this sucks this beaveth <laughs> Hey, Beaver. This, oh, this sucks. Guys. Oh, this sucks. Oh, well, huh. this was a bad soundboard yeah. cue. Okay. I was. That was the inner monologue of the audience after seeing a joke seven times and pretending to right. laugh. Oh, okay. Oh. Got it. Got yeah, it. but no, they love Keep it because up. they're all fucking in it, dude. They're yeah. acting at that point. They're like, I'm a part of the show. But they're trying to be heard. Ugh. Yeah, and that, it's like when you're in Universal Studios and you get pulled out to be in part of the stage. It's yeah. like you're there. No, it's different. It's it is different, Kyle, because in a comedy show, you're flipping on the audience and you're showing reaction. When you're doing these multicams, you those are ghost people. You right. never see them. Whoa, that would be so sick if a fucking multicam <laughs> showed the audience laughing, like dude. just exploding <laughs> with laughter at the fucking Roseanne joke. That would be the fucking sickest. Hey, uh, I know. Noticed we're filming a lot of the audience and not so much of the show anymore. What's going on? This is what you get when you hire yeah, exactly. me, all right? This is what I we're like doing that. for the pilot, man. This would be I so like badass. Claymation. The fuck? Like you're in a fucking <laughs> scene. So so explain explain to uh, the audience who maybe isn't hip to this Hollywood lingo, Blake, about single cams and multicams. No way. Make Kyle the director do you're it. You're mad on. at him? Kyle, okay, you're a big Hollywood director, <laughs> Kyle. That's right. Thank you, Adam. What, Thank you, yes. Explain what a difference between multicam and single cam. <laughs> multicam is the sitcoms that we grew up on, our generation, like Roseanne, where you hear a live studio audience laughing in the background. Normally, a few. Sh- shout out to John Goodman. And is it called multicam? Because like, there's a lot of people named Cameron. They, they call it multicam because back in the day, they would put in like, you know, there was the only medium that you could put like four cameras on four or five cameras on and they had limited sets and the camera the characters always visited the same sets and that's what it was it wasn't until like multiple um, cameras 
Yeah, now and we do something called single cam. Normally what you see out on location like Arrested Development was single camera. And I don't know, workaholics? God damn it, Kyle! Hello. Can I can I just expedite this real quick? Can I just expedite yeah! this real quick? You fucking film with five cameras or three to five cameras simultaneously recording from multiple angles and then either live you edit between the cameras or later you edit from that footage whereas single cam you well now that's where i was getting to because we shoot with multiple cameras in the single cam format now which is obvious durs you know that but in workaholics we would shoot with two or three cameras so the it's more about the setting than it is the actual cameras you but fucking you're have. lit for Get one up. side as if you're using one camera whereas multicam you're lit for that all is the so cameras. not true but it's cool what? that you think that wow oh good for you in light enlighten <laughs> me well now you shoot single cameras and you can do something called cross shooting which oh, you're God. aware of for improving oh did you ever do that on workaholics or not i did i absolutely i did huh when was that boys did you see it often enough hey very rarely very rarely I remember going, oh, I got to remember that because we're not fucking cross shooting. And explain what cross shooting is. Please don't. Cross shooting is when you have cameras pointing both directions so that you can capture everything at once. The improvisation. Like a multicam? <laughs> like a multicam, but so on a location. Call a show that does multicam and single cam. Cam? Duh. <laughs> they're using cameras and they're making a show now. <laughs> That's called hidden camera and that brings oh. me. <laughs> it's really about the it's really about the audience or not. Yes. And about the simplicity of the blocking or what you're doing with the cameras. But that's not correct either because I shot a pilot called How I Met Your father or i think it was called how i met your dad and it never it never happened and it was a multi-cam oh, yeah. we were all stoked for you for that yeah. because it was like uh, how i met your mother is such a huge show and then they're gonna make how i met your dad and we we're like oh that's gonna go a million seasons and there's gonna be our richest friend we were hoping you were gonna get cash yeah. money yeah bro it it was it was i thought you i thought we you were gonna have like a fucking hot air balloon that you take us out on on the weekends <sighs> and shit yeah, it turns yeah. out. Sorry, dude. <laughs> T turns out, no. What were you, what, uh, but yeah. there was no audience. They film it like a multicam. This is a rough one for us, man. They film it like a multicam. There's no audience. Uh, yeah, that was a shit show. They like they recast somebody while we were filming it, like midweek. <laughs> um, they, they kept changing sets based on this one character's job. It was like a fucking hospital one day, and then it was like a lawyer's office the next day. And we're like, oh. Sick, Santino. That's where I really met uh, Andrew Santino, who I just want to notate. Just want to notate. Uh, I believe on the charts today we're at 150. He's at 152. Okay. So he yeah. where you is at? two levels beneath us. Below. Yes, yes. we are <laughs> beneath. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's important. Obviously, a more successful, much more <laughs> successful podcast. And yeah. I really we are a right. successful podcast, guys. I'm proud of us. We got we, we got a hit. I we still, hit. I still think we need to solve a murder to really get up our numbers, but I, you're right. Gotta I agree. Uh, been murdered. I'm getting, I'm getting a lot more uh, DMs. People, more people are sliding in the DMs, okay. and from the podcasts that have come out so far, really? uh, no chicks. I was thinking, oh, I might, I might see booby photos again, like I did the first mm -hmm. few seasons of Workaholics. <laughs> doesn't, okay. doesn't happen any any longer. <laughs> now I just get really horny gay dudes. <laughs> okay. Do really? you guys get horny gay Thank dudes you or? God. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I got one. Oh, I get um, every day. I get a, a handful of just like a handful of horny gay dudes that are like, I would, I would swallow your dick hole, dick and balls. Your they'd swallow cool. your dick hole. Or my your dick, dick hole? and balls hole entirely. <laughs> yeah, put your dick hole in my ear hole. Can anyone do that? Where they get the whole dick and the balls? Yeah, for sure. Can anyone? Can anyone do that? We already told you, Durs. If you can think it. It can happen. It can, it can well, be that's done. A, I'm not saying there's not somebody who's into trying it. I'm saying, is it humanly possible? Oh, I guarantee it. Yeah. Of course. If you think about it, it just depends on the size of the, you know, the, the wah, wah. Oh, I guess, yeah. If you have a super tiny dick, you could just go. If you had a tiny. Yeah. Wah, wah. Also, if it's harder, yeah. like, it doesn't. 
We're not specifying if it's got to be hard or soft. If it's soft, I'm sure you can fit most dicks and balls in your mouth. I'm still going to send it. (laughs) Is that going to be my new thing, just watching soft dick BJs with the nuts involved? Is Uh, that a thing? You tell us. Is that your thing? (laughs) If you can dream it, it's on the net, baby. When I was in high school, I was, maybe not even in high school, it might have been eighth grade, I think, and a girl that went to another school, we started instant messaging each other, uh, AOL Mm -hmm. stuff. Style, and she really wanted to see and it was her uh, no I'm I, yeah <laughs> and it might have been her and like 10 of her friends but yeah. uh, she really wanted to see my limp dick go from a limp dick to a hard dick and by the way what yeah no one has ever <laughs> even seen my dick at, by eighth grade like my dick was just it was right. just me and my own it was a newcomer what she wanted to see this Newcomer, that's pretty good. Yeah, and then I saw her at like a soccer game or like some <laughs> football game or some shit, and it was so awkward because she like came and sat by me, and she's like, "So," and I'm like thinking, like, "Am I gonna have to show this girl my limp dick?" <laughs> like at the game, like go behind a dumpster and show her my limp penis. <laughs> right, sure, <laughs> romantic. Uh, there's no dumpsters yeah. here. Sorry, <laughs> so, sorry. And I'm I was so glad that she didn't broach the subject. Uh, yeah. Because that would have been because because she didn't know what you were talking about because you hadn't been talking to her. <laughs> right. Exactly. You've been talking That's... to her big brother yeah. who was exploring no. himself. Well, because we didn't know each other beyond just instant messaging. Like all we. Right. That's when you had. Think about it. That's when you had one family computer. And if like you had a sleepover or something, there was you plus a gang of your homies talking to whoever you were talking to. Absolutely. Cyber sex was the shit. Same thing was happening on the other side of that. Instant you know, message. Do you cyber needs to be the fucking merch. I want to cyber so bad again. It was so fun to cyber. Do you cyber? I'll cyber with you. That would be tight. That was my Fuck, whole thing. I, I can be anybody. I actually think that's a great idea. I would go into a chat room and then like lure like dudes and pretend I was a chick. And then like when it got to like the point of where it was, <laughs> was getting hot, you'd be like, wait. oh man, yeah, my dick is so hard. Too. And then they'd be like, wait, you're a dude? And you're like, yeah, wait, what? <laughs> Did I Were you by coming? yourself or with your friends? It varied. <laughs> This is something I cannot if corroborate. You do this solo? So this is not I don't remember this. I've known Blake forever. I'm pretty sure this was a solo act of his. This is important. Uh Kyle, quit covering your tracks. You <laughs> yeah. and Kyle were in his basement alone, just, Dude, just uh, it was luring fun. guys into his his sexy little It's funny, so I imagine we would do it, but like the old bait and switch? Come on. I don't remember that. Yeah, no, I get it, but if you're doing a bait and switch on your own and like fist bumping yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's called trolling, man, and it, it, it for some of us it feels no. very good, and it's all we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get that. <laughs> Do you cyber? If you guys cybered you right cyber? now, I think that would be kind of harmless. Like if ASL. I were to cyber with any of you guys, it would be just like you know helping each other out. That's not. It's entryway. I wonder if we have the most homoerotic uh, podcast. It's possible in the top two hundred <laughs> podcasts. I wonder if we are. The most homoerotic. Yeah, what's that category? Where do we rank in the homoerotic? Yeah, um, we're up there. I'd yeah. say we're up there. After listening to uh, to the Mary Fuck Kill episode where uh, you you guys just went in depth on why you'd want to fuck me and and, mm. uh, uh-huh. and Blake. That was part yeah, of the game. going in depth, all right. Yeah. Part of the game. Yeah, I was thinking going about that depth. recently. D- <laughs> yeah. It's a, good, it's a good game. D- it's a good game once you get spinning on it. I'm hitting that B spot. You gonna shit yourself, <laughs> boy? <laughs> wow! Whoa! Yeesh. Whoa! Yeah, yeah! The B spot? Yeah. Was that for boy or for butt? Boy or butt or bowels? I don't know, All right. man. But oh, I'm bowels. hitting that shit. <laughs> Yuck! That was the, tight. The bowel spot. Mm. I tell you, I got tight. a uh, I got an old photo here that I found recently of um of Durs and I at a Margaritaville. Mm. Uh, in Vegas, let me see. If Checks I can. out. Mm. Let's, Let's see if you guys. I love share. a good guys at home right now. He's his I... brain. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at those guys, oh, dude. dude yeah. Look at this guy's shirt. I just dug dug up this bad boy. I remember they we were on we were doing a thing for MySpace TV. Yeah. If mm-hmm. that if anyone remembers that, which they shouldn't, uh, because it was a billion years ago, and but they paid us to do their first ever 
a hidden camera show. So we did a hidden camera show called Special Delivery. Yes. Which I was just talking about the other day randomly. And uh, we lived in Vegas for like three weeks. And I remember hitting up this mar this Margaritaville a handful of times. And that was right when Red Bull Vodkas became a thing. <laughs> and, and me and Durs were full steam ahead on that train. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my well, Durs in this picture is doing a classic like dad dance, like walk like an Egyptian. Hey, it no looks bullshit. like he's having. I was doing looks... that exact dance twenty minutes before we were rolling today. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's it's my go to the walk like an Egyptian uh, dance. Yeah, that's yeah. Bad. Some guys are just built to be dads, you know, and you're one that of them. That shirt. Some dances like a banana republic, and I had it in two different colors. Fuck. Yeah, look go. how soft oh, our skin looks. Our skin mm -hmm. looks so supple. Yeah, mm -hmm. you guys look like you have cream cheese skin. My yeah. eyes kind of look like uh, that famous National Enquirer Bat Boy photo. <laughs> you know what I'm talking oh, about? Yeah, yeah of course. Like I believe they made a musical about Bat Boy. It was yeah. It was oh, quite, there's Batman. Quite the how about story. that, guys? How about, how about that? Uh, and I was doing a, a dance move that I still will do when I reach uh, pink level, uh, peak level bro down drunk. Mm -hmm. When you're like, you're not trying to you know, impress anyone, you're just with your dudes and you're acting straight silly, which is, uh, I do a move where I aggressively stir my drink. Right. Yes, that's I have in, seen that a few times. Yeah, that's that's my go-to dance move. <laughs> and then where, and one. then let's talk about when you're trying to impress people, the yeah. B side of uh, when you're not. Yeah. What's oh, the move? what's the dance move when yeah, you're, see, when you're, that's well, a great question. Well, then I go into, the, then I'm like, I revert to like, I'm a, uh, uh, fourth grader and I'm at my aunt's wedding mm. and uh, okay. I'm convinced that someone, did you guys ever do this or is this just me and my fucking psychotic head? Cyber where I would, people? I would oh. imagine uh, <laughs> that there's a, a professional dance scout in the audience at <laughs> oh my, my aunt's wedding you're a, in you're Waterloo. A psychopath. <laughs> Wait, okay, Hang but on a what's second. the dance? Who's that kid? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was Hold like, the bouquet. I would dance so hard until like every inch of me was sweating because I just danced for like six hours straight, just yeah. doing cartwheels, splits, thinking like they're about to approach any moment. I got to. It's the same sort of mindset as when you're yeah. practicing hoops as a kid and you're in yeah. your driveway and mm. it's always the... Last Three, second. two, one, and you shoot and you miss, but you get the rebound and they're like, there's still a second left. And then you right. like put it up, then you miss again. And then there's like, I, oh, this is the very last second. And then you make it. I like that analogy. I do not see how the dancing thing is the same, but I, I'm, well, I'm trying to like, follow. I'm trying to win like, the game, dude. I, I do like how yeah. everything in Adam's mind was for an audience. Yes. Yeah. You got uh -huh. it. Like I, I was just shooting hoops. You're, no. oh, get the fuck out of you here. You would hit the game winning yeah, no. shot. You were Come never on. trying to win the game winning shot, or it was 3 Always. 2 1. And I will say this I would, no, I wasn't. Uh, really? I was never trying to impress people I thought would roll up or think would see me. Mm. I was trying to impress people that were like there. Mm. I didn't have like an imaginary like an imagination. Okay. Bill Cartwright himself is going <laughs> to pull up. You imagine this whole scenario that allows you to get ready for when the dance is real. There you you go. know what I mean? Okay. Like you when have to put yourself in that. Okay. When that's just a form of preparation, I think, like mental preparation. I like that, Kyle. I like that. When there really is But I'm not talking that's there's two different things we're talking about here. Uh -uh. There's visualization right. about a race or a a game and then there's I wonder if someone's going to discover me shooting hoops. <laughs> but what's the difference between the two? Honestly, when you look at this, it's like... One is about you and the other is about the game and the fucking process. Mm. Well, they're both about you. One is about how you perform in the game and during and under the line when you're in, when the moment counts. And the other one is when you're performing and there happens to be a scout out there that can give you the ticket and the keys to Hollywood. <laughs> what's the difference? I, I, guess, I guess I would say I... I I have a di I differentiate those two from the execution of something and you. But the execution mm. of a dance move is just like the execution of a three pointer and a rebound. <laughs> I know, I know, but I'm so <laughs> this is exactly where I didn't want the conversation <laughs> but, to go. <laughs> no, but I mean, Look, like, we're talking I'm, really, I'm curious. <laughs> I'm super curious because it's like to me, it feels like exactly the same thing. I know, but my point is, 
is <laughs> are you doing are you trying to nail the dance move to nail it or are you trying to nail the nail the dance move so someone comes up to you and goes hey man you nailed that dance move yeah but you know who that person is because there's two different things <laughs> i'm not a true psych hang on no, no, I'm not hang a on. true psychopath, <laughs> and I truly believe in Waterloo, Iowa, there's a professional dance scout who's going to find me. It's just a fun, imaginary thing that I like to make up that helps me dance harder. Okay. Yeah, because, right. you, because you think Cindy's you wedding. will be discovered. That's just a fun um, uh, thing I'm doing in my imagination. Much like when I'm practicing shooting hoops, it's a fun thing to imagine that I'm hitting a game-winning shot and I'm Michael Jordan and it's, right. you know, the 1996 finals. But, but in Adam's case, specifically in Adam's case, he came here and <laughs> became a performer. But the, he's not a dancer, though. A professional performer. He's, but he's not, not a, dancer, a dancer, but he is performing with hey, eyes hey. on him. <laughs> uh, have, I have I danced in movies, Blake? You have, and, you, and I believe, didn't you? Multiple, multiple movies. Didn't you at the Oscars dance? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> at the Emmys, I did a whole... Whole weird, very weird, very weird dance number. Yeah. You're yeah. a song and dance man. And it started there with the visualization at your aunt's wedding See? that I... some talent scout might be watching you. So kids, don't be afraid. Don't listen to negative durs over there. Who the... you, there actually has the to point. be there actually has to be uh, what point a, am, a, what point a are we talent missing? scout there in order to imagine it. You can just what? pretend and have a, a fun imagination. Here you're talking about you're imagining the payoff for something. No, as opposed a... to just getting it right no what? he's not dancing to win he's dancing for attention for a purpose well th there was not one particular move <laughs> there was uh, a lot of moves strung together <laughs> wait what is the differential well i don't understand what are you are differentiating between sports and like entertainment like what are you what's mm. it what i didn't bring up dancing you did <laughs> no but but what is the difference no, between winning a game and winning Step Up to the Streets, the TV show? And winning in entertainment. Yeah, and winning in entertainment. Whatever those bars are. There's not an actual ribbon. There's not an actual judge. But what is the difference no, but there? The difference is he's doing it to be the guy who shoots the game-winning shot as opposed to just working on the shot and getting good at the shot and then going to be the guy who wins the game with the shot. I He's think sitting around not being good at it, going, I'm the guy who won the shot. I hope somebody drives by and But sees I was me. practicing. I was yeah. getting better. I mean, I just wasn't very naturally gifted at basketball. I kind of always sucked. But Or at dancing. But like, you well, know. <laughs> well, no, I take that back. I'm not a bad dancer. I I, okay. well, oh, I, I just am curious. I Adam, I think you're a pretty good basketball player. Just decide. Hey, thanks, Blake. Yeah. I've seen worse. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, we see. Yeah. So, uh, we I'm see definitely players. one of those yeah. worst players, for sure. Man, I'm so glad we went down that. Uh, me too. I'm I'm glad that uh that Blake brought up the the <laughs> Emmys dance cuz that was one of the weirdest days of my life where like 3 days maybe a week before they were like, "Hey, uh I think someone must have fell out and like they needed to fill a segment." Josh and Gad. Josh Gad for sure dropped out. <laughs> I uh, uh, and I, uh, they asked, the Emmys asked me to do like a song and dance number to, um, present the, uh, I, I, I don't even know. I can't remember As what it was for. song and a movie? No, it was best, like it was Emmys. Musical so or TV. comedy? Yeah, it was musical or comedy. Exactly. The, yeah. mm. And so I had, to, I did a huge song and dance number and I had like two days to learn it and... It's insane, by the way. It's like the craziest thing. Like 50 dancers come out. There's the giant mass singer. I I have to uh, like do a flip over someone. Samantha B's there. It's so weird. But then the weirdest part is like looking uh, is right before I'm about to start. I look out and just see Michael Douglas just staring <laughs> at me. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. like just like the sea of famous people looking back at you going what the fuck is this as i'm like singing and dancing and doing a oh, thing man. and then Bro, looking yes. out and just just seeing the every famous person you've ever seen in your life was michael douglas giving you like a courtesy smile <laughs> no like, michael douglas <laughs> great work adam guess what all those people are in the audience they're potential scouts
they are yeah, they yeah. were all scouting that's what i was thinking i was like they're all gonna fucking find they me, are dude. scouting you they're judging yeah. you they're they are if i could have a little audience participation <laughs> count down three two one and then you I shoot a hit, fireball <laughs> yeah i gotta hit the final closing number uh no i remember michael douglas being not uh into my song and dance immediately Admittedly, it was so weird. Like, because I watched the show up until they're like, okay, and it's 15 minutes or 10 minutes mm -hmm. or whatever until you, and then they took me backstage. And like, it's the most Hollywood thing you can do because there's like chorus girls right. and there's like professional dancers and, and singers uh, like that are accompanying me. And then it's just like you go on stage and it's poof, spotlight is on you and you look out and there's like, every famous person you've ever, you could even imagine is just yeah. in the audience. Uh, and it was the fucking- Sinbad was there? Sinbad uh, was right outside going, ah, oh, they lost my ticket. <laughs> Damn. You can imagine it's on the internet. Sinbad uh, Yeah, cause, and then I watched before and it was like, nothing was like that. There was not, it's not like a big song and dance Emmys where you're like, yeah, we're used to seeing like it's spectacle. It's mm -hmm. like very much down the middle. And then I come out and I'm the song and dance man. Meanwhile, not on a, I'm up for nothing. It's not like I'm also up for an Emmy. So right. you would suspect that I'm a reason that I'm there. And then I just did this fucking bizarro That's song wild. and dance. That's wild. Yeah, man. Legendary. That was dope. I thought <laughs> hey, that was dope. You did uh, it. You got an Emmy from me, pal. Yeah. And I'm just saying, I wouldn't have been there if I didn't imagine <laughs> that the dance scouts were yep. there at Aunt Cindy's wedding in 1992. Yep. Some yeah. people weird. understand visualization, it, it, some it's people don't. It's weird that you guys think that those are correlated. I'm not saying that it can't get you there. I'm saying it's that so you're not doing you it don't. for it. You're doing it for you. Mm. Mm. You're doing it for mm. the you're doing it for the attention of the thing. That's still a physical act that you have you're, to perform yes, and be precise. Just that like is sport. correct, but you're doing it for the people as opposed to yourself. But well, when you're you in a it? sport, like some people do, but he does it for his own I'm not enjoyment as well as for the people. Like it's both. It's the same fucking thing. It's so bizarre to me that you don't see this. Hey, you, okay, ready? How about this? <laughs> Homeboy who learned the dude who was surfing the Mavericks for like ten years before everybody. When he just would go out there and do it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's let's get him on the horn right right now, and okay. find out if he was like. Ring ring. What's up? Hello. I just always imagined <laughs> everyone watching me, or if he was out there just fucking surfing. Yeah. No. Ex no. He might. He might be going. <sighs> right. You oh, have to get one. into that performer's <laughs> big head one. No, to you understand don't. what it is. Yeah, you do. Well, here's what I'm thinking is at. at Big wave surfing wasn't a thing until that documentary came out. That documentary made big wave surfing a thing in the sports. The, I, you I know. know what I mean? And I'm, I'm wondering if he was like, I, I'm doing this so that someday it becomes a thing. Or if he was like, I'm doing this because I love this. This is what I think. I feel like this is a this is a battle that would only be solved at the point of where uh, you two would fight to death with which would bring me oh, to a new subject yeah. that right. uh, uh, we slightly discussed over over text. But if we were all four of us to be in a a, a fight to the death cage match where you get to choose a weapon, mm. what weapon mm. are you bringing? to the mm. table what weapon can you <laughs> wield masterfully mm. well hang on is this fight in mm. front of a bunch of people it is it is oh, okay thank okay. god so <laughs> i'll do well i'm just uh, bringing their positive vibes <laughs> i like that it doesn't matter that doesn't matter it See, doesn't what matter. I'll that do, doesn't matter <laughs> what i'll do is i'll imagine that there's a scout out there a fighting scout yes and right. Don have nitro really from awesome. american gladiators <laughs> That Nitro's out there, he's judging the whole situation. Mm. I'm imagining Nitro's out there, and I have to uh, <laughs> win this fight for Nitro. And that'll give me the, uh, the motivation I need to succeed. And my answer is uh, uh, those little knife uh, things that uh, Raphael had. Cool. Oh, size. Size. Oh, size. Size. Yeah, size. size. Yeah. I like your size. Uh, those, are, those are tight. Also, what Donatello had, just a big ass stick. That works because you can bow? poke people. You a can hit them from staff. far away. Bow staff. Yeah. Did you watch Ninja Turtles? 
Yeah, I, don't, I didn't know any of their, <laughs> their weapon I names. I, own, I know nunchucks. See, that's the only way I can answer this question is imagine myself as an action figure and what comes right. in the package with me. Yeah. And when I think about that. I would rock Leonardo's sharp, long medals. <laughs> the optic <laughs> sharp, long medals. Give me. Uh, when I imagine myself as an action figure and what comes with me, I think I'm going like fucking raw with with like a baseball bat with some fucking sharp metals in the end of it so i can mm -hmm. swing the fuck out of that so you're a, you're a casey jones right casey jones with like with blades at the end of the bat is that a jose can bat <laughs> tell me you didn't pay money for this <laughs> well well here's the issue with j just having a a long a baseball bat with blades of sorts mm -hmm. is yeah, what I'm going to do. I'm definitely fabricating my own thing. I know yeah. that. There's okay. a lore to my yeah. weapon. You, It'll be part of you. We'll allow yeah. him to and tear your lore apart real quick. And that's fine. Is Go What ahead. I would do is you would swing. You'd swing at me, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'd slide using my fourth grade honed <laughs> dance maneuvers yeah. that I've honed through the years <laughs> at random weddings. Mm -hmm. Right. Looking for scouts. Right. And... Uh, and I would slide on my knees right after you swung the bat. I'd, I'd uh -huh. stay out of bat reach. Then I'd slide in with my size mm -hmm. and cut at them thighs. <laughs> size to the thighs. Cool. Size well, to I'm, the thighs, babe. Just okay. two on each thigh. Just thick dick. Not, not even worry about the dick. I'm not worried about the dick. I'm like, if you Thank cut you. the inner thighs and I then you shred, you shred down. <laughs> Thank right. you, though. By the way, thank you for not yeah. just going straight to yeah. my dick. You might want to worry about the dick. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, if I know Kyle and I do, I might, I might hit the tip. <laughs> I hey, might uh, hit the tip. But this guy's a, a droopy dog. He's got a droopy, down, sad. Angry. It's not necessarily long. It's like a sad sack. It's like a. <laughs> okay, I'll still say thank you to that. You're gonna pin the. You're gonna pin the sack to the thigh. Yeah, I'm gonna pin the side to the thigh. Well, I do have. I'm wearing boots. <laughs> You way. have boots, okay. Thigh high boots. Yeah, have... I'm wearing boots. I'm wearing like like steel toe boots. I know that steel toe boots, uh -huh. but thigh That's high just... boots. Is it protecting? Then you know what? I'm gonna stomp your fucking. I'm gonna stomp your fucking head in, player. <laughs> oh, but it, if someone had a mallet and they just hit your fucking steel toe, it chops the toes off. Ooh, that's good. Mm. So what's yours? Okay, what other weapons? We got one weapon. Uh, machine gun. What the <laughs> fuck? You can't do that. No, 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 no. Mm. It has to be... Mm. You're talking hand-to-hand? -hand? Well, yeah, it has uh, to be hand-to-hand combat. Yeah. That's smart, though. That was really smart. I, 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 will, I would say this. Thank you. Yeah, I would... Atomic Mom. <laughs> <laughs> You're that kid. Yeah, that's that's cool. that kid. You remember that kid? <laughs> that's so I would smart. have a five Atomic Pops and blew you up. You can't stop because I have infinity grenades. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a force field. <laughs> um, what would I have? Um, Damn. What just are... an one-night stick. Like, a, like the big fucking, boss man? What the? No, man? like uh, like the um, what are the the guardian angels or whatever? Oh yeah, that's a good look. Oh, what about what about this? What about a fire hose? Mm -hmm. <laughs> just but just then you got to come with some sort of fucking water tank too. That comes with no. I I would have a blade of some tank. sort for sure. Yeah, because remember, this is a fight to the death, and like yeah. to kill somebody, you're gonna have to really hit them a lot with water. With the water, <laughs> you're gonna have to drown them. Could a vehicle be your weapon? No, no. no. Yeah, I would have uh, a, I'd have a jumbo jet. Yeah, and I would just fly into you. Yeah, right. I mean, like that's the thing, that's what I'm wondering. Whereas, I, that's the bonus set when you get my vehicle, which is obviously a Tesla. I suppose it has to be like medieval weaponry of sorts. Yeah, hand, I would have combat. one, uh, like katana sized sword that's like light, that I can mm -hmm. fucking work with. Uh, and then in the other hand, I would have a, a short dagger type blade that I could kind of jab with, uh, yes. slit, mm. slit, slit throats. That's a good combo. Yes. Like a carbon fiber, carbon fiber. Well, that would, no, it'd be carpet. <laughs> it'd be carpet <laughs> liger blood. I feel if we did have a fight to the death, uh, I would get murdered pretty quickly. I think you guys would murder me pretty quickly. It would be so I scary. Think, I think I think Durs and Kyle would, and we like, and I would die mm -mm. Uh, fairly I'm quickly. I'm no, dying. you would die. Well, you I always, might die before me. No, 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 no. Dude, Blake trolled before trolling was a thing. The motherfucker's got the brain power to handle this. Yeah, 
I've got psychological warfare. Yeah, he's sneaky. But I also yeah. need to know what, like, are we allowed to have armor, shields? Like, can no, we wear? No, we're fighting n nude. Well, this is the wardrobe, though. What's your weapon? Gre Greco Roman nude. Blake. What's your weapon, Blake? Before we get into armor, what's your weapon? Yeah. Well, that d no, I have to know because if you guys are in full plate, that is going to change what weapon I grab off the rack. You're not. You're you're in you're in a speedo. Naked. Yeah, I had boots on. Then I think I would go. Can I have a shield? If it's sure. a speedo shaped shield of lycra. Well, you can have a shield. Of course, you could. Even that could be your weapon. Because I would probably go with a small small shield, you know, that I could wield with one arm, and then like yeah, like a machete. A machete you guys, weapon. Now we're getting into two weapons, though, by the way. Is this okay? Oh, is it a one weapon thing? I thought it was. I said one baseball bat. I didn't know. Then you had... You said steel toe boots. Well, I had size, and that's there's two there's two size, so... Oh, so mine is baseball bat and steel toe boots with spikes on it. Yeah. And oh, we... sick spikes boots. Those are so <laughs> fucking tight. Like 90s action yeah. movies. Yeah. Like the fucking like tree climber boots, you know, uh -huh. where you grip in. And so it's like spikes on top. So when I kick with the toe, you're fucked. Yeah. And if I step on you, you are fucking cheese grated player. Yeah, but you can't pull your fucking fat ass foot out of the ground. You're going to be walking hella slow and clompy. I don't need. I'll stand my ground. I'm not afraid of that. Yeah, but then how, you're, what? Those boots are for nothing. You're gonna stand your ground if you can't uh, high fly karate kick. You're not doing shit. And I see. I'm you. not a fucking high flyer, anyways. My whole. St then why'd you pick boots, you dumbo? <laughs> so I can stand there and fucking crush people, dude. I'll hit them with the baseball bat and finish them mm -hmm. with the boots. What is oh, the gosh. problem there? Okay, well, what's the problem we with my method? Seems stupid. That's what. Seems stupid. You seem stupid. <laughs> if we can only pick one weapon, I'm gonna go with a with a war hammer. I believe is what I'll go. Ah, uh, the classic war hammer. Which is exactly yes. what. Um, it's like a uh, it's like it's a medieval. It's kind of like an axe, but it has a it has a hammer on one end, and then maybe a little spike on the back end. You're not gonna oh. want. You're not gonna want. Uh, you're want. You're gonna <laughs> want a blade because mm -hmm. if someone gets in close combat. They just grab the handle. If you're swinging it down, they right. grab the handle close to you and stop it. And right. then they go kick, 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 with that yeah. short blade. And then they take right. their sigh. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. To the thigh. What are okay, those? here's the. <laughs> you he went straight for the thigh. How, what, what kind of experience do you have with a sigh, though? Do you have any experience wielding a sigh? Hey, do you? How much experience do you have with a war hammer, motherfucker? None. The old Warhammer. Okay, but fine. I'm going to Machete. I'm going back to Machete. Machete is a fantastic answer, yes. and I think that'll be my third mm. weapon. A Machete. I'm right. there with That's you, That's me. But I'm going to have that uh, that dick knife from Seven. Oh, okay. fuck. Yeah, I'm just going to chase you boys around. I'm going to have the glaive from uh, Kroll that can shoot lasers <laughs> and fly oh, at you and then shit. come back to me. Predator 2? Yeah. Uh, like Danny Glover is on the, the is, I know this is like... This is a bad weapon, but I, is there like a brass knuckles that are also like a blade? You know what I mean? That you can like... Yeah. Yeah. There's a knife that has br brass knuckles handles. Dude, I think that uh, I'm changing like the, my the, machete the, for that. The handle that's has the, brass knuckles on it. Actually, no, that's a bad idea because I got a sword. I got a baseball bat that I'm swinging. I want to say there's a Ninja Turtle graphic novel where they had like short broad swords that had like the spiky handle so they could mm. punch and yes. slice. Have you guys ever gotten in a fight with anything besides fists? Like beer bottle breaking? Yeah, or anything besides like... Or like swinging shit? You know, cause I got in a bunch of fights but it was all like I was a kid, like a true like fourth, fifth, sixth grader. Mm -hmm. So I never really, and we were just, you know, fist fighting a, or like maybe i hit a kid with a book or something but it was never <laughs> right have you ever pulled out yeah you threw a kid down the stairs with a book right or something like that yeah i hit what a kid that? oh that this uh, and we might have told this story on the podcast so i'm not sure allegedly allegedly <laughs> allegedly i my aunt a few thanksgivings ago came up to me and was like hey uh do you know brian <laughs> Allegedly, uh, that was his last name. And uh, I was like, yeah, uh, he was my bully in high school. And she goes, he told me he works. Oh, I yeah, work this with is the him. one bully. Yeah. And she, he you were his bully. And I evidently bullied him, which I thought he was my bully. So we both were just bullying each other. And uh, I know, Anna. 
Wait. I know I've told this story before. <laughs> but, 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 wait, so everyone's heard this part, but what, what, I, I don't think you told what you did to him. Yeah, so uh, he like w- was bullying me and my dad told me that like I have to hit him first. My mom was like, only hit him if he hits you first. My dad's like, you're, you're much smaller than him. Uh, definitely hit him first. Scare the shit out of him. Like beat the shit out of him and then he won't hurt you anymore. And I'm like, got it. So then the next day at school, I took my book out and uh, from my backpack and went up to him as he was sitting down in a desk and just clubbed him in the side of the head with it, like almost knocking him out. And then, and then like a week later, I see him uh, at the top of a staircase and I fucking 300 style kicked him down the staircase mm. and he like dislocated his shoulder. So yeah. How does oh it God. feel? How does it feel to know that you were a bully? Yeah. So I was for sure his bully. In hindsight, I realized nice. that. But at the time yeah. I was like, he was bullying. You're a fucking dickhead. He was, no, he was bullying me, Kyle. He was a big kid. Kick. He didn't hit you with a book or kick you downstairs, player. Is this our murder podcast? No, he hit me with his fist. <laughs> Is this our murder podcast right here, dude? He hit me with his fist first. <laughs> Who's the bully? <laughs> so, so yeah, did I deserve that? Is this like a, a movie reveal, like the likes of Fight Club, where like all of a sudden your face is on his body? Like you thought you were at the bottom of the stairs and he <laughs> well, was looking down on you? <laughs> what's well, cool is Adam was just bringing up kind of like an eye for an eye, but he just hit him and Adam <laughs> then threw him <laughs> off stairs. <laughs> So it's kind of like an eye for a shoulder and broken ribs. Good job, Dennis. Well, also, (laughs) yeah, my dad just gave me real piss poor advice. Kill him. You could kill him. Uh, Well, I do say that's like my dream role is like like the movie Fear. Like, I feel like I do well with something like that where where, you remember that movie Fear with Mark Wahlberg where he's just like everybody kind of likes him and he's like the new boyfriend and he's cute and everyone's like, yeah, he's a nice guy. I think I do well with like, oh, no, we Mm -hmm. like him. You you look at him, little little cutie. He's he's good for you. And then I'm a fucking lunatic. Then you start carving shit into your chest. And then I imagine there's all kinds of like serial killer scouts out there looking for me and yep. I'm going to be like, yeah, you got to be the best. I can kill her. <laughs> <laughs> but Mark yeah, Wahlberg was, was just dripping with sexual energy. Oh, he was. And, so uh, what, am, am I not, Mark Wahlberg? And has he stopped? I don't think you're dripping with it. I think there's an energy. Yeah. There is sexual, I mean, your DMs. <laughs> uh, I think there's some, some sexualness. Your DMs are fucking dripping. <laughs> yeah, they're dripping. <laughs> swallow your whole dick and balls hole. But man, oh, was it, that was the whole thing. Was the dad was like, yeah, it was really a dad getting over the fact that his daughter's getting oh, completely yeah. railed by having sex. Yeah, and I don't know if that's cool anymore. I think you got to let her just kind of do her thing. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's the new movies. The dad sees just like a honky <laughs> beefcake that you could just tell just lays it down, and the dad's like, "I applaud you, son. <laughs> Have at it." Have at it. Him, not I don't care. Him. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not him. It's the, the daughter. Dad, it's the daughter's choice, not the dad. You can have her. I bless this. I'm saying that he goes, hey, daughter, <laughs> just it, wrap it, it up. It's up to It's up to you. It's up to wrap you. Up, and he though. should have had it if you are okay with that. Right. Is that or, what you're saying? That's a good movie. <laughs> or the dad gets on I- AOL Instant Messenger and starts like right. getting after it and then he's like age sex location and he's like 17 your daughter's bedroom yeah so the dad to get the, <laughs> the dude that he's not into d- dating his daughter he tricks the the boyfriend into meeting him in the parking lot as a seduces him cyber seduce yeah, yeah. but then he shows up with fucking and he goes you've been cyber spiky boots on and he <laughs> Yeah. Okay. yeah, now we're talking. So yeah, you know, it comes kicks him right in the fucking nards. Yeah, if it if it's a goes to series, Kyle will do the pilot and dip. Uh, I'm out. <laughs> uh, give me the mailbox money, buddy. Yeah. Hit me with that EP <laughs> credit and money while you sleep. Now we've already we've already moved on. You're off the project. <laughs> oh right, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I didn't even get the opportunity, no. but uh-uh. I will. I I will claim I'm the guy who will cut to the audience during a sitcom. I I would love I'll to do that. that. I'd like um, that. I'd like that. I feel like that was I'd done. That. No, didn't. Uh, who was it? Chelsea Peretti, or I guess that was a comedy special. Yeah. yeah, that was comedy. Yeah, I mean, you've done good cutaways, but if you're like in a scene in Dan and Roseanne's kitchen and all of a sudden you cut to some randoms laughing after a good joke in the audience, like that's fucking... Right. Sh- sharing snacks they snuck in. Yeah, that is groundbreaking shit right there. That is silly stuff. 
Yeah. I'll be in that sitcom for sure. You see the hype right. man, the like audience warm up guy, just like waiting for his cue, just <laughs> not laughing too hard, just like fuck. I wish I was up there. Well, let's make that uh, sitcom. Remember that was like uh, that was one of our initial very first ideas when we were trying to think of uh, show ideas way way back in the day, where it was like we were it was like L A sketch group, and mm -hmm. we were a sketch comedy group who the whole show is us trying to put on a show, and then like the, right. the like you would. So see some sketches or like half of a sketch, but then mostly it's like what's happening backstage and us changing into costumes and dealing mm -hmm. with g like getting people into the, the show. And like, uh, I, I feel like that's, it's not a bad idea. I love meta shit like that. And for Me those too. listeners at home trying to steal this, we registered this with the Writers Guild of America <laughs> West, baby. Sorry, oh, sorry, yeah. hey. it's ours. <laughs> We're on the project. That was the best. We're on the project. We've got to register this before someone steals this idea. Oh, <laughs> this has to be registered. I mean, I hope this whole podcast, all the gold we turn out, is registered, like our Cyber hey. Dad <laughs> movie. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> our cyber dad movie fucking rocks, dude. As long as we get Mark Wahlberg as the dad this time. Oh uh, shit! Oh, that'd be cool. That's a great little send up inside inside baseball send yeah. up. That that guy doesn't stop working, so he's he's a veil. What's his last thing he did? It's been a minute since I've clocked in. Didn't with, he do a with old Mark? Mm -hmm. He's Marky Mark. He's always doing shit. He's he's nonstop, baby. He's got to be up to something. Didn't he do a big ass Netflix movie? And the the stall tactics have kicked in. What's he doing? He <laughs> is constantly working. Obviously, the last thing he was working on, we all know, was the H I Heart Huckabees too. I yeah, I don't oh. know what he's been up to either. <laughs> no, he was in like yeah. uh, was that like Instant Family, or he was in that big uh, oh, fuck. It, is that uh, Quibi? He was a, Honestly, I think he's been working on his Instagram a lot. And then yeah. he was in Spencer Confidential. He's been working on his body a lot. I feel like that did well, right? Yeah. And then he was in Instant Family, then Mile uh, 22, then All the Money in the World. That was the big Netflix thing, Spencer. Then uh, Daddy's Home 2. Okay, now nice. Transformers. And that's I, all tra Transformers. And that's all within the Daddy's last. Daddy's Home was also okay. Three years. The guy is churning movies out. Transformers, no good. Yeah, but yeah. Transformers was no good. <clears throat> Daddy's huh. Home was cool. I like that. Wait, which trans? The you saw the latest Transformers? Yeah, I watched it. No yeah. shit. Huh. You're still on that train, or like you just watched nah, it because it was, I was on. getting. I was. I was having meetings to do those movies. You know what oh, I yeah. mean? And it was like Were I gotta like, go watch them. And you, when I watched them, I was like, Let me guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do. I'll do the first. You're off the project. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes, and then I'm somebody else take over. No, there was. I, I really liked the Bumblebee <laughs> one, like the one that they they yeah, went back in time and did the mm -hmm. origin. I thought that was a really good one, and I was excited to possibly do the Optimus Tri Optimus Prime. One. <laughs> well, you thought it was called, <laughs> called Optimus Prime. Optimus 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 I thought it was Optimus Truck one. <laughs> The Optimus Prime <laughs> truck one. Yeah, I, I biffed that one. I biffed that one. This is how Kyle prepares for, for big meetings. He's like, uh, yeah, I know all about the uh, comics. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. And thing. he made I a poster that said, go ahead and trime me. And they're like, <laughs> you got it wrong. Yeah, I think your franchise is in in trouble, but you got the right guy, okay? Yeah. Uh, the Mark Wahlberg one sucked, uh, <laughs> but I'm here to do... And they're like, oh, I made uh, eight hundred million dollars. And they're like, it sucks. I like the the bumblebee, the yellow one. And then uh, what I'd really like to do is the Optimus truck. Did that robot uh, just turn into a car? That car's a robot. If that's possible, I'd love to do the Optimus tri truck. The one. motorcycle's a robot too. <laughs> what? That, air incredible. that airplane over there's a robot. How did he get? I mean, I get that he's like a hunky dude, but he. Uh, <laughs> Optimus Prime. He always sounds like he's whispering and he's out of breath. His voice is out of control. Yeah. <laughs> Oculus Prime. Uh, no, Oculus Prime. Yeah, I'm doing the Oculus Prime. The thing about uh, Mark Wahlberg when when he was Marky Mark, he was doing uh, wasn't he doing underwear modeling? Oh yeah, yeah he, he was, was Calvin Klein. Oh, don't act like you don't know. Wasn't yeah, he? <laughs> Dude, when he did the Rock and Jock B Ball Jam. That's how you were luring guys into those chat rooms back in the day. 
<laughs> hey, it's me, Marky Mark. <laughs> Underwear model, Marky Mark. I swear Marky to Mark. God. <laughs> I swear to God, it's me. <laughs> Yo, he did the fucking... He performed at the MTV Rock and Jock B-Ball Jam and basically like ran around with his pants at his ankles in those underwear. And I was That's like, right. this dude is winning. God. Yeah. yeah. Man, that guy... I mean, what was he? 22, 20, what the fuck ever? I don't know. I don't know. His, his body was grown. I know that. God <laughs> damn. <laughs> and God we, and damn. we wonder why we have like dudes crawling in our uh, DMs. Oh my God. I don't this wonder. This is the most homoerotic <laughs> podcast. Or it's just me. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'd like to believe that it's also happening to you guys and you guys just aren't admitting it. Uh, you know, that's for me to know. No, I don't have as many follow. I don't yeah. have as many followers as you guys. I got. That's my I, got big I got nobody secret. engaging in my social media. <laughs> what? Nobody's hitting uh, up your. Hey, guys out there, if you think uh, Kyle's a hottie with a body, go ahead and yeah. slide in his DMs, and we'll yeah. talk about you on the pod, maybe. Ch yeah, we want. Uh, we want all the gay dudes that are <laughs> uh, um, offering. I was gonna <laughs> say threatening, but no, they're <laughs> offering. They're offering yeah. to swallow my dick and balls whole. And That's to tongue my butthole while the, my dick and balls are in their mouth. Uh, so oh. come up, fly on over to, to Kyle's <laughs> Instagram and uh, offer him up How? something. Yeah, what's is your you, at? Is that a thing? What's your at, Kyle? Kyle Newichuk. Just my. Why name. don't you go on over to? Why don't you go on go on over to at Kyle Newichuk's Instagram <laughs> and tell him what you want to do with his veggies that he just pulled out of his garden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you, next baby. week we'll read uh, the top five comments. <laughs> yeah. All right. And, uh, Sounds good. I don't want any straight guys going on there trying to be funny. No, no, no. We'll no. know. No, we will know. We don't want any trolls. Yeah, we'll we'll do some deep diving. We want we yeah. want the real deal. We want you to actually offer up uh, <laughs> that throat if you'd like. Only if you'd like, allegedly. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Guys, is there any? Uh, take <laughs> <laughs> Uh, speaking of take backs, take uh, take <laughs> take don't, backs. don't send us compliments. Any. Right, or uh, what's the third one we say? It's take backs, compliments, <laughs> and apologies, man. Apologies. Uh, apologize. Uh, I'd like to take back uh, what I said, offering that throat. That was a little aggressive. Yeah. I'd like to immediately yeah. take that back. But I would like to compliment Kyle for standing up for me. Uh, as a fourth grade boy, or maybe even second grade boy, with dancing at my aunt's wedding, uh, imagining that there's a fun dance scout out there, because I'm just a little boy with a big imagination. And Kyle, no I would like to uh, thank you for that. No problem. Big, big compliment will. to you. I, I appreciate Thank that. You. I always got your back. You Thank know, you, I know Kyle. the hard work you put into this industry singing, and into your craft. And, and mm -hmm. I know it started way back then. Mm -hmm. And as your director and coach, I, yes. I respect that wow. in a major way. Thank you. And, uh, you know, I, yeah, I've, uh, for the record, I've never punched you, Adam. <laughs> um, uh, that was wasted. I don't drink anymore, Adam. And that was... Uh, hey, that, that's you know? fine. That's, that was many years ago. And you didn't yeah. land the punch because you're... Oh, very drunk. And actually very bad fighter. I saw yeah. that punch oh, coming from uh, 12 miles away. Uh, but yeah. if I had a baseball bat. Size to the thighs, I, bitch. <laughs> Size to the thighs, bitch. Size to the thighs. If I had my baseball bat and fucking spiky boots, well, I would have got you. Well, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the other end of the argument, and mm -hmm. I'm going to compliment Anders for mm -hmm. standing his ground in what he was saying. You know, it's... Yeah. it's it was it was strange to see you guys go at each other and not bend, but it was kind of hot. Yeah, so. I feel like <laughs> Kyle just wanted to go at it. I feel like he's a little bored and needed some yeah. action. And and I will compliment him on uh, knowing that I'm always down for action, baby. Yes, let's go. I want to compliment you as well for going and sparring with me on that because uh, it was fun, and I think um, I see what you're saying a little bit now. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I want to compliment so everyone to at bend. home for mm -hmm. uh, listening to that, just kind of just going bearing with that. us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. but hey, this is uh, these are real friendships. You know, you don't always um, have smart friends. <laughs> 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 you know, in all honesty, you don't always see eye to eye, and some right. people like to spar in uh, in conversation, and that is where it should be left. At the end yeah. of the day, if I wasn't virtually away from you, Anders, I would force you to hug me, mm -hmm. uh, and I would love I hugging you in that sick <laughs> cinchilla uh, snap tea fleece you got on there, pal. Baby, I'd like so to cozy. compliment Durs on just really like shitting on a little uh, third, fourth grade year old, uh, fourth grade boy. <laughs> 
and just his dream of, of dancing and uh, you know to really taking that little That's kid a to weird task compliment. and <laughs> That kid yes, threw a man here. down the stairs yeah. and killed him. Yeah. Fuck that kid. <laughs> yeah. It's sort of, it, it's sort of, uh, and sort of, you know, taking uh, every little kid that's out there with a dream, taking him down a peg or two because that's important. Look, I'll say this, and, and I, I, I say this constantly around uh -huh. my household, no dreams here. That makes sense. <laughs> no dreams here. That makes sense. Re just reality. You got a dream? <laughs> How about you turn that into a reality? Uh, you know what? I think you're the dad in the new Fear movie. You got the part. You, you booked got it. got the part. Right. Thank you. you. Sorry, Mark. <laughs> Who's this guy? Whoa. What the oh, fuck? That was, that was another worry, great episode me. of... This, this is important. Important. See you next yeah. week. Bye. Oh, wow. Yeah! Yeah. Yeah.